They were so liberal with just walking around naked out of the shower. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. What up, world? Back with another classic recipe for you. This is a loaf of meat, aka a meatloaf. And I haven't had a meatloaf since about 1962, and I didn't even exist yet. So I'm just saying, it's been a long, long while. Uh, I got my grandma swag on because this is a grandma meal, looking monochrome, monotone, to match the BBQ Pringles that I did actually replace the bread, the uh, binding agent, eggs as well, in the meatloaf. I replaced that with barbecue chips because I thought, let's throw a little flair on it. Why do, why do we got to use the, uh, you know, wonder bread if we can just throw some chips in there and big this thing up a little bit. I also put maybe a couple little unorthodox uh, flavors in there and we'll talk about it once we cut in and just get to chatting because you know what, this this is a family style meal and I got some family style conversation for you. So let's uh, do a few things and get inside. So first things first, we must pour up a Diet Dr. P and yes, a moment of fizz for the fallen. We do respect them. A lot of tragedy in the world right now, so have to have to feel lucky to be here, you know what I mean? And we just watch it go, that nice caramel color. And somebody did say recently I should have clear cups for the pour up and for my drink. You you right. I'll work on that. Thank you for the feedback. That's actually the first constructive feedback I've had in a long, long time. So there's that. Now, lately, I've just been going cray-cray with the Bay Bay Convits. And uh, I'm going to do it again. Once I got them, it's just I can't stop. But before that, ooh, pippity pop, what's up? I'm going to do a half cheese drizz. Just on the half. Kind of treating this loaf like a cheeseburger in a sense. Just like a no or a low carb, no bun type cheeseburger situation. And y'all know. Well, let's keep you let's keep you off to the side. Let's keep you halved. Because I don't Oh, did you guys hear that? I don't want it on that side. Couple couple trashy bacon bits, not even made of bacon, made of soy. Probably like terrible for you. I know they are. Sodium delights, but whatever. We must procure a few extra Pringles. Oh, they're so broken. No. Pringle fail. And because we're treating it like a burger, what, uh, what loaf of meat with all these fixings doesn't need a pickle or two? We'll see. All right. Chips to the side. Pickle to the side. And we go inside. The great reveal. I'm all steamed up. Looking good. I do like it. I'm going to go with the more plain Jane side first. When we do meatloaf, we have to remember we cut it into chunks, strips. She is steamy, ladies and gents. Hmm. Kind of want to just show you guys that. Hopefully, this one's getting you craved out. So. I did mine a little unorthodox. I slapped this thing together real quick. That's why it makes a good, it's just a good, easy family meal, but from back in the day, you know what I mean? But uh, I used two pounds of ground beef. I threw in milk, egg, the Pringles, crushed up, onion, garlic. Mm, that's so good. Onion, garlic, shaved carrot, green pepper, salt. 
salt, pepper, a, da a dash of Frank's Red Hot for a little seasoning. A little spicy seasoning, I should say. Slathered her in ketchup and barbecue sauce. Baked her off for one hour at 350. And just like that, we got ourselves a dinner. It's delicious and it's piping hot. So in this video, I had a topic that popped in my head today. And uh, I want to know if any of you guys had this type of family or had essentially... I'm going to put my parents on blast a little bit today. Um, and when I say my parents, I do mean my stepmom and my dad. But... Uh, It was this meal, this time period, this time frame, being that they were from kind of, you know, growing up in that time. Let's just say, I think back then, in like the more hippie -ish days, that people were more liberal with their nudity. And um, I grew up in a house where my parents had no, like, they were so liberal with just walking around naked out of the shower. Um, just being very, very naked. And um, I grew up in a household, a blended family of four boys, two girls, and the parents, so we had nine people, and, like, let me give you an example of what I'm trying to get at here, I would skip a class, and my dad was the type of dude to literally call me down from my room, yell at me from the bathroom. Famous move. He'd be dead ass naked, about to take a shower, shaving in the mirror, all fucking, all like that. And hear this. No other clothes, but wearing a pair of Birkenstock sandals. Hippie shit. So he'd call me in and make me stand at the door. He's just in full swing. Shaving. And be like, so, uh, got a call from the school today. Seems you weren't in math. I'm like, Dad, you couldn't just wait till you were out of the shower and dressed. Like, why did it? Why was this so urgent now? Like, I don't need to. This isn't a thing that needs to happen right now. Now, he wasn't the only one. My stepmom, same offender. She as well rocked the Birkenstocks, the hippie sandals, and would roll to and fro between bedroom and bathroom 
I'm talking full triangle pie out and about for the world to see. The only thing that she did have on was a towel around her head. <laughs> Just cruising around, completely butt ass naked. So I'm super intrigued to know. And just have conversations too. Like she'd be, like we'd be in passing, going down for lunch, and she'd be like, "Oh yeah, there's uh, mac and cheese on the stove," and just be di fully naked. I'm just wondering if anybody else's parents were like that. I think I've met a few people along the way. Mm, that cheese on those bacon bits actually really perked that up. can't be the only one and their whole angle was like we're family we're a big family the house isn't massive it's like we're all gonna live here their philosophy was you know it's just your birthday suit like there's no big deal to be naked Which, you know what, that's cool. I get that. I can respect the, uh, sort of the idea behind it, but I just feel like we were living a bit in a different time. Like, I know nowadays parents would get thrown in jail for that shit, I feel like. Another thing, too, in, the, like, with them free, free floating around, it's like, we would come home, you would have a friend over, and this happened to many of my sister's friends and mine, and we didn't know that they were showering, Or whatever, they were in transit of getting clean and dressing and stuff. My parents were about like no closed doors. They did, they hated closed doors. So we'd be cruising with a friend, and boom, there's there's one of my parents, butt ass, and they didn't give a shit. They were like, they're like, hey, it's my house. You're in my house. I didn't even know you're coming over. I'm naked. It's my place. And my parents were like, or my friends, I should say, were like, like, dude, my dad doesn't even hug me. Like, <laughs> which is kind of sad, but they don't, they just be like, what? Well, your parents are out of control. I just want to know if anybody else had this experience in their life. Now, for me, I'm not going to say it was like traumatizing or anything. It certainly wasn't. It's just my dad. And my stepmom, but... I don't think anybody else thought of this was... Okay, I'm a young little guy. That's my stepmom. That's that's my dad's girlfriend, technically. You know, not married, but together long enough. But it's my dad's girlfriend. So she's not really related to me. So essentially, really, if you think about it, it's like I was getting a free peep show to my dad's girl. I don't know if anybody ever st stopped and took the time to think about that. Except for me being like, well, 
I'm not supposed to feel any ways about this, but it's like, I am 13 and there's a naked woman in front of me who's not my mother <laughs> that I'm not related to at all. So that was just a point of thought that I had. Was that angle of it, like, you know? Anyways, if you experience anything similar in your childhood or life or whatever, to be honest, my dad's still very much like, will just change like door wide open and shit. Like he just does not give a shit to this day. So I just don't know. Slightly strange topic, but. I just am really interested to know if anybody else had very like liberal parents like that when it came to nudity because uh, in the Finnish culture when they, when they go for saunas and, or whatever sauna they all sit together naked as a family. It's a tradition. In the sauna, which is just like a steam room, essentially, right? So, in some cultures, it's like... It's just like normal. Certainly not here. Okay. Ate quite a bit. I saved the butt ends. <laughs> butt ends. Very, very appropriate for this whole video. Very delicious. I haven't had a meatloaf, like I said, since 1962, so. I love how many people are going to run with that and be like, he's 54. It's like, bitch, do I, could I really pass as 54? He's 54. Bruh. Use your lid. the doctor that was nice it was very very nice well to the next one grandma hoodie out and he could live all stay true and make me love and maybe or maybe not walk around naked in your house I don't know up to you okay peace